Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about climate smart agriculture or you can also call it climate friendly agriculture, eco friendly agriculture or more specific term can be used climate resilient agriculture. Now what is this climate resilient agriculture? So if we are talking about this, I hope you have heard about precision farming. So nowadays precision farming is also getting promoted in all over India. How? In recent budget, government of India has announced a fund for the technology or you can say for the drone, for the use of drone in agriculture. So why they are promoting drones for agriculture? Even we know that 86% farmers in India are small and marginal farmers. But still they are promoting drone technology and by uh, analyzing these data, we can simply know that those farmers which have land less than 2 hectare will not be able to use these drones but what is happening right now due to intensive cultivation in India we are using a lot of insecticide, pesticide as well as fertilizer so to reduce those chemicals we are moving towards the use of drones and those drones will be the part of precision farming and yes precision farming can be the example or can be related with the climate resilient agriculture but yes climate resilient agriculture is a broader term so now let me explain what is climate resilient agriculture so guys if we say about climate resilience so it was in the news yesterday that us is going to invest dollar 1 billion just to promote climate friendly agriculture so why the scientists why the icr why the ICRISAT is concerned about this this was about the us and I was talking about the use of drones in Indian agriculture and recently ICR and ICRISAT has signed an MOU to build or you can say to develop new varieties of millets. So why they are researching on new variety? So what, why this is all happening? Just because of climate change. Now what is climate change? So if we say about climate change, so due to greenhouse gases ultimate impact of greenhouse gases is global warming and due to that global heating due to that global warming the environment pattern the climate pattern is getting changed year by year and if you want to ask an example so simply you can analyze the rainfall pattern in your area i have experienced the rainfall pattern in rajasthan in uttar pradesh in madhya pradesh in punjab as well as haryana so we have changed we have seen a drastic change in the rainfall pattern so why this is happening even if we say about the forest report so recently released forest report said that in coming 5 10 or 15 years himalayan region will experience increase in temperature and same time northeastern region will experience a drastic decrease in temperature so why this is happening this is whole whole this is happening this is all happening because of global warming so in case of global warming temperature is increasing so if the temperature will be increased i hope you have studied cardinal temperatures for the growth of crops so cardinal temperature there are recommendation of temperature so that we can grow the crop properly and we can get the proper production but the if but if the temperature overall temperature or world temperature will be increased by one degree so we will be observing a drastic change in the production of agriculture and that can be a question mark or that can be a threat for the food security so what is climate resilient agriculture climate resilient or climate friendly agriculture means growing of crops in that new environment what is that new environment that new environment where the temperature has been increased and the previous varieties or previous crops which we are growing are unable to grow in that particular environment so that will be considered as climate resilient agriculture now the question arises what is the meaning of greenhouse impact i hope you all are aware about greenhouse impact because there are certain gases which are responsible for greenhouse gases do you know what are the gases responsible for the uh, greenhouse impact yes we all know it is co2 carbon dioxide as well as nitrous oxide along with carbon dioxide nitrous oxide methane cfc or o3 ozone are also responsible for the greenhouse impact that greenhouse impact or those greenhouse gases are creating an envelope in the environment and that envelope is doing what is trapping the radiation on the earth 
so due to that trapping of radiation on the earth earth's temperature is increasing day by day and that increasing temperature is known as global warming that increasing temperature is known as global warming so these are greenhouse gases and ultimate impact of these greenhouse gases are global warming and on agriculture what is happening in case of global warming or we, when we are experiencing global warming in all over the world we are also observing the changing rainfall pattern the changing pattern of monsoon we are seeing variation in the monsoon pattern somewhere we are getting a, a great amount of rain for us somewhere this scarcity of the rainfall you can say water so somewhere we are experiencing flood or somewhere we are experiencing drought so this drought and this flood create a disturbance or create a problematic situation for all the farmers even we know very well that we talk about the uh, monsoon so there are two monsoon one is a southwest monsoon and another one is northeast monsoon so now southwest monsoon is a great danger for all india now you will say sir how this is danger why because we always studies that southwest monsoon is very important do you know the reason yes of course why because agriculture is greatly dependent on indian monsoon we don't have sufficient irrigation resources so when we are not having sufficient resources we are waiting for the rainfall and most of the india is receiving rainfall by southwest monsoon but at the same time when we say 70 to 75 percent rainfall is contributed by the southwest monsoon but at the same time we are experiencing flood in so many parts of the country on the on what time on the time of southwest monsoon so southwest monsoon due to this changing rainfall pattern creating a risk creating a dangerous situation for all the citizen or you can say all over the india so that is important why because agriculture is dependent on monsoon otherwise that changing pattern or that changing rainfall pattern is creating a disturbance and why the pattern is changing because of global warming so now this global warming is there changing climate pattern is there changing rainfall is there so in that new situation in that reality of new environment we will be able to cultivate crops and this type of agriculture will be considered as climate friendly climate resilient or you can say eco-friendly agriculture so in that eco-friendly or climate resilient there is a type which is a uh, there is a example which is known as precision farming because by using precision farming we will try to use the we will try to use precise amount of inputs when we are using a lot of inputs that is known as intensive farming but when we are trying to use precise amount precise means exactly amount which is needed for the crops so when we are trying to use precise amount of the nutrition or precise amount of the pesticide fertilizer that is known as precision farming so when we are promoting climate resilient agriculture at the same time we are also promoting precision farming and this is why our agriculture minister our finance minister was talking about the use of drone in agriculture i hope now the fact or now the concept is clear to you now the question is what is the impact of climate change so already we have discussed that there is a lot of impact on human uh, because of climate change but on agriculture what is the reason or what is the impact of climate change on agriculture rainfall pattern is changing and uh, temperature increasing and that can lead to the reduction in the cropping pet no, not cropping pattern actually that can be the reason of reduction in the crop of production so that will be a harmful situation for all of us now the point is if uh, we are experiencing this problem so what can be the solution to this problem so one example i already gave you precision farming what is the meaning of precision farming in case of precision farming we can use precise amount of input so that we can stop or we can uh, reduce the wastage of input so by using more inputs there are negative impact like you can say eutrophication what is the uh, meaning of eutrophication when we used to see the algal bloom on the water surface that is known as eutrophication and why it is happening on the water surface because of because we are using a lot of chemicals in the agriculture field apart from precision farming these can be the solution to the problem it can be organic farming by because why because organic farming uh, uh, organic farming use only organic products 
यूज ऑफ केमिकल इज बैंड इन ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग डू यू नो विच वन इज द फर्स्ट इंडियन स्टेट विच वन इज द फर्स्ट इंडियन स्टेट विच इज अनाउंस्ड एज फुल्ली ऑर्गेनिक स्टेट आई नो यू यू ऑल आर एबल टू आंसर दैट इज सिक्किम बट आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट वन मोर आंसर जस्ट राइट डाउन इन द कमेंट इफ यू नो द आंसर विच वन इज द फर्स्ट यू टी टू अनाउंस टू बी अनाउंस एज अ कंप्लीट ऑर्गेनिक यू टी आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट स्टेट complete organic state first organic state was sikkim sikkim but which one is the first ut which is announced as a complete organic status fine okay so by using organic farming we can reduce the use of chemical another option can be zbnf or natural farming natural farming is different concept natural farming was started or was innovated in japan while talking about zbnf it is zero budget natural farming and this was started in india the man behind the zero budget natural farming is subhash palekar so after karnataka or andhra pradesh announcement now himachal pradesh also announced to promote the zero budget natural farming in its state apart from zero budget natural farming we can use permaculture what is permaculture permaculture is known as permanent agriculture means we are using some ways some ways for the agriculture which are permanent in nature because these chemicals cannot be used as permanent solution but yes there are some eco friendly ways which can be used as a, for next 15 20 or maybe 50 50 or 100 years so permaculture can be the another solution apart from permaculture we have sustainable agriculture rain water harvesting is also there because right now we are using a lot of water almost 89% of ground water is used by the agriculture yes 89% of ground water is used by the agriculture so we are using a lot of water and that is a alarming situation for us that is creating a risk for our future generation so if we want to reuse the water if we want to reduce the wastage of water if we if we want to reduce the uses of water so another solution for us is rain water harvesting we can collect the water which is coming from the rain apart from rain water harvesting we have precision farming already discussed about this then no tillage and cover crops are there now how no tillage and cover crops are helping our future or helping the agriculture because by using no tillage or by using cover crop we can uh, we can reduce the losses of the moisture from the soil we can protect the moisture inside the soil only because tillage will manipulate the soil and when you are turning up the soil so that means automatically by the sun rays the moisture available within the soil will be removed by evaporation so by using no tillage or by using a uh, cover crops we can reduce the evaporation losses and we can also increase the moisture content in the soil and by increasing the moisture content automatically uses of water will be reduced so these all things are permanent in nature so so instead of using chemical instead of using a lot of inputs for the agriculture we can use all these methods so now if you are, if you have any kind of doubt related to these method so you can write in comment down below and if you are clear about the concept so just tell me the answer of this question farm sector is responsible for which green house gas emission yes i told you there are certain gases which are responsible for green house it can be methane it can be nitrous oxide it can be carbon dioxide or it can be ozone or it can be some other also right but farm sector or agriculture sector or paddy field are responsible for which green house gas emission even if we talk about the paddy field paddy fields are also using a lot of water which is again an alarming situation for us so we'll be discussing about the another topic also about the related topic also so if you are having any particular doubts just write in the comments or if you are clear about these things so just write the answer of this question i'll be uh, i'll see you in the next video so please make sure to revise the concept and in case if you need the pdf of this lecture just write it down i'll be sharing on the telegram i'll see you in the next lecture take care bye bye jai hind jai bharat